So I finally got paid back from insurance. Or actually what happens is, okay, the way this works is that insurance says we're giving you, we'll say $1,000, right? We'll give you $1,000 for whatever. We'll say this, this whole setup, we're giving you $1,000. They'll pay me like $100 up front. I go and I purchase everything. I send them the receipt and then they'll send me $900 back. That's, that's kind of how this works. So I was finally able to get the acetylene and oxygen. Had to get a new cart and had my welders and stuff was on there. So we got this. This setup here with these three things was $771, give or take, after tax. Uh, this right here I got on Amazon for 450 bucks, something like that. Uh, and actually I saved the insurance money, or I saved the insurance some money. They were going to give me $610 for uh, a welding set for the journeyman, and I found it on Amazon for... Um, for $450, so save the insurance money. Um, at the welding supply, they had this same set, but it was $930. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. I didn't see that there. 450. So here's what all this comes with. So, a little brochure. Pretty thick little booklet. That's pretty cool. You get to sit by the toilet or on your nightstand, wherever you do your most reading. A little chart. Pause it if you want. Okay. So here's the here's the torch, obviously. Um, it's pretty heavy duty, but these have a. A flashback arrestor that's inside these so you don't need to buy the the other ones the additional flashback arrestor they're built in so that's cool okay we'll get and here's the newer upgraded here's the newer upgraded gauges Comes with the hose, and I'm assuming all the tips are done in there. So let me jump back over to this. Now these are customer owned, um, and normally whenever you buy these, if you're buying these new, like I did, or used, they're probably still going to be in used condition. But and you see on here. It says uh, Hooper Supply. Um, normally, a normally a customer owned uh, tank, it'll still have this lip right here. But where it says Hooper Supply Company, it will be blank. Oklahoma City. But yeah, it'll look. Anyways, it'll look like this this section right here. Um, you want to stay away from these that have any kind of uh, name on there. The reason why this one is okay 
is because Hooper Supply Company went out of business. And so whenever they go out of business, other other places they buy up their old tanks and you're good to go from there. At least that's what I was told. Uh, kind of the same thing on these. Uh, it'll have uh, a company name or supply store or something like that. Uh, the other thing to look for is a date stamp. So this is November 2014 plus five years, so that's 2019 plus five more years. So we're good. We're good till November 24 before this tank needs to be hydro tested. Um, I'll probably use this up before 20, uh, 2024. <laughs> so if not, if it is 2023, or I guess if it's 2024 in October, I'm going to try and use the rest of the cylinder out and go exchange it. Because that's what they usually do with these is that whenever you're out, you'll just exchange the, the tank um, with another customer owned tank and go from there. Okay, so this comes with a 25 foot hose and this says that it's a grade T and I believe the grade T you can use um, any fuel through here whether it's uh, propane, uh, acetylene, propylene, whatever the other ones are. I don't know. We got our fancy smancy little uh, welding goggles. This should be a shade five. Okay, so we'll go over this. This is obviously going to be your little striker. Uh, this is your your cutter head nozzle. Okay. And this right here is going to be to clean out your tips. So I don't know if y'all have ever seen one of these, but if you guys don't have a oxy acetylene uh, torches or the LP propane torches, uh, these are pretty good to use in carburetors because they're good to clean out those little orifices and stuff like that whenever they get gunked up. But so that's uh, that's that kind of came with it. So that's cool. And again, that's just to clean out the little jets little orifice the little uh whatever you want to call it holes <laughs> and this is so this is the welding tip one three five and then the rosebud which i like the rosebud that's that's good for heating up that's good for heating up metal and able to bend metal and stuff like that so that they were selling at the at this place for $150 just by itself so that was too much all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the hoses and set everything up and get back with you all right so I got everything set up ready to go uh, something to keep in mind is at least this is what I do this is what I've been told to do uh, before you put on your regulator gauges and all that crack it open in case there's any dust or anything in there that shoots whatever's in there out uh, before it gets into your gauges hook your gauges up crack that on crank this down blow a little bit out there I uh, did that as well and then hook up your hose and before you hook this up before you hook your torch up uh, you'll crack these open and give it a couple of seconds for all the air to blow through and if there's anything in there hopefully it'll blow it out um, that's just what I've always done that's what I've always been told to do before I've never had any issues with anything clogging or nothing like that so all right let's go for the maiden voyage one other thing is I use Teflon tape on all the fittings um, from the bottle to the regulator out of the regulator and to the torch uh, from what I understand don't use like pipe dope uh, because it's got, from what I understand, it's got uh, some oil 
like oil base or something like that and it can break down over time and it's not supposed to be good to use with I can't remember which one if it's the oxygen or if it's the acetylene but one of those two it can corrode and actually catch on fire so I'm going to be doing all this blind so hopefully uh, I have my acetylene set on 5 psi and the oxygen set at at 60 So that's with the cutter torch. Now whenever you want to switch over to one of your other ones, all you do is you just undo this. A couple things. Uh, these are made out of brass, I'm pretty sure. And so it you don't need to monkey down on them and tighten them just really tight. All you're going to do is mess up mess up the threads or whatever. Oxygen is right handed thread like your normal righty tighty lefty loosey and then your acetylene is left handed thread so you turn it to the left to tighten it up. You can also know because there's a there's little lines that's on there so but uh yeah so all you gotta do is just put your new one on and go to town with it uh, and these don't have to be monkey down either rubber o-ring that's on there so you really don't need to to tighten these down just extremely tight take that one off and get to some some welding if you want and obviously you can angle these however you need whatever is most comfortable for you or wherever whatever position you're in well, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and turn these off because I don't need them right now. Before I forget. Bleed out the hose. Let me watch this one go down. Yeah, I always, always turn the valves off whenever I'm done with them obviously and I always crack these open to get rid of the residual pressure in the lines and then I tighten them back up mainly because if this gets a leak I don't want it all to blow out in the garage but I also don't want them with pressure in them all the time either so y'all comment rate and we'll catch you next time thanks for watching see ya